A couple of months before he died, Archbishop Fulton Sheen was interviewed on national television. One of the questions he was asked was this, You've inspired millions of people all over the world. Who inspired you? Was it a pope? He responded that it was not a pope, cardinal, another bishop, or even a priest, nun, or brother, but rather an 11-year-old Chinese girl. He explained that when the communists took over China, they imprisoned a priest in his own rectory near the church, and after being locked up in his own house, the priest looked out the window and was horrified to see the communists enter the church. Once inside, they went into the sanctuary, broke open the tabernacle, and in a hateful act of desecration threw down the ciborium, scattering all the hosts on the floor. The priest knew exactly how many hosts had been in the ciborium. 32. When the communists left, they either did not notice or did not pay any attention to a small girl praying in the back of the church who saw everything. That night she returned and, slipping past the guard at the rectory, entered the church, where she made a holy hour, perhaps of reparation, for the desecration she witnessed of the Blessed Sacrament. After her holy hour, she went into the sanctuary, and kneeling down, she bent over and received Jesus and the Holy Communion with her tongue, being careful not to touch him with her hands. She knew she could only receive Holy Communion once each day, so the girl returned to the church to make her holy hour and receive Jesus in Holy Communion on her tongue, just as she did the first night. On the thirty-second night, after having consumed the last host, she accidentally made a noise that awoke the guard who was asleep at his post by the priest's residence. From his bedroom, the priest could only watch in horror as the heart-wrenching scene unfolded before his eyes. The girl tried to run away, but the guard caught up with her and beat her little body to death with the butt of his rifle. While the priest's attempt to stop the attack was all in vain. When Bishop Sheen heard the story, he was so inspired that he promised God he would make a holy hour before the Blessed Sacrament every day for the rest of his life. And he was not only faithful to his promise, but he took every opportunity to spread this devotion of the daily holy hour before the Blessed Sacrament. We do not even know the name of the 11-year-old Chinese girl of the story, but a heroic act of going to the church every night at the risk of her life to adore and receive Jesus in the most blessed sacrament serves as a powerful testimony against the attitude of so many Catholics today, even among traditional Catholics who supposedly understand the gift of the true and valid sacraments offered to them, who show nothing but callous indifference towards the real presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Eucharist. Now, ask yourself, would you do what this saintly 11-year-old girl did? Many of you will quickly say yes in a spirited testament of your faith. If that is true, we are available for the next 32 days to open the doors for your holy hour. If you are honest enough with yourself that you are not as dedicated then hopefully you have the humility and good sense to know that it is a spiritual deficiency exposed by this martyred girl. And with this knowledge, you will ask God to fix this lack of grace in your soul and fill it with the graces necessary for the fortitude, appreciation, and devotion for the Blessed Sacrament needed in these dark days of the Catholic Church. So I encourage all of you who hear this, including myself, to make a holy hour in reparation for the desecrations of the Blessed Sacrament that happened in the last 2,000 years, and for Holy Mother Church, which is currently being attacked by every heresy and evil imaginable to man, especially in the last 60 years, where the heresy of modernism has come to fruition, and our Holy Catholic Church has gone into eclipse.